Hey guys, this is Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys my most top anticipated PlayStation Vita games coming out this year. Uh, this video is recorded at least two weeks after the E3 presentation. So um, these are the games that I am truly waiting for for to play on the PlayStation Vita. And I also, in this video, want to share with you guys why am I a little bit concerned of the future of the PlayStation Vita. So let's go ahead and get started. First, one of my favorite games I want to play on the PlayStation Vita is Batman Origins uh, Blackgate. This game is a 2.5D game, which is a 2 is a 2D scroller game in a 3D world. Um, it looks very beautiful. I saw the gameplay of it. It looks very nice. Um, one thing that I'm surprised that till this day there still haven't been an official trailer for this game. Uh, yes, I've seen gameplay. That's all I've seen. Some gameplay over you know over the camera. Um, some people playing this game on the uh, at E3, but I gotta say it looks beautiful. I like the way I like what I saw, and I truly love Batman. I'm gonna play the uh, Batman Arkham Origins on the PlayStation 3, and dude, um, this is of course this is one of the games I truly want to play. It looks beautiful. My other game that I truly want to play is Counter Spy. Counter Spy looks very nice. Uh, this game I could tell by by everything that I've seen, by the trailer, by the gameplay that I've seen, I could tell that I, I'm gonna love this game. Uh, it's a, like you see right there, it's also like a 2.5D um, game, type of game, cause like you see, it's like a 2D scroller, but when you're shooting, and like, like, like you see right here, it goes to into, into like a 3D mode, uh, which looks very cool, it looks very cool, and of course this is considered one of the most indie games that we're gonna get so I think from all the indie games that we're gonna get I think so far this is like one of the best that I am very very uh, very attracted to so yeah that's one of them the other game that I truly want to play is Tearaway uh, this game just looks gorgeous um, everything I've seen from it it looks very nice it, of course it's created by the creators of Little Big Planet so they know what they're doing and of course um, um, Everything that I seen of this game is just very appealing to me because you know they're using like you see in this video um, uh, They're using lots lots of the functions of the PS Vita uh, I just hope it doesn't feel as gimmicky as you you know as as you play more time into it But um, so far everything that I seen looks just gorgeous This game just looks very very nice, and I'm truly gonna get this game on day one Okay, the other game that I'm truly waiting to play is the Walking Dead 400 Days episode. It's coming to the PlayStation Vita. If I'm not mistaken, it's coming next month, July. Um, I it also I'm very very glad to know that all the collection of the first season of place of the Walking Dead is also coming to the PlayStation Vita, which is awesome because I truly enjoyed the the first season. There's also gonna be a um, PS Vita bundle coming with this game and also coming with all the games from season one. So if you haven't played that, uh, this game um, on the PlayStation Vita really should be freaking awesome. So yeah, this is one of the games that I'm very, very excited because of course I loved the first season. So I just want to keep on playing more and playing it on the Vita on the go is going to be my number one choice. And, of course, the other game that I truly, truly, truly want to play so badly is Rayman Legends. Rayman Legends just looks freaking gorgeous. Everything I see from this game, I just love. Uh, when this game was first um, announced for the uh, Nintendo Wii U, I was envy. I gotta admit, I was very envious. I was about to buy a Wii U just because of this game. Uh, but when when it first got delayed, when it first got delayed, and and, and we were told that it's coming for the consoles, I I was so happy that I was gonna be able to play it on the PlayStation 3. But after it was confirmed that we were getting it on the PlayStation Vita with a lot. Um, um, exclusive um, function especially for the PlayStation Vita I got more sight even more uh, so honestly this can easily be my number one game that I'll be playing this year and my most anticipated game I just can't play to I just can't wait to play this game uh, and I can see myself spending most of my freaking hours playing this game 
Uh, this game just, I want to play it. I want to play it and I want to play it now. And of course, my number one game that I'm, I want to play for the PlayStation Vita is Killzone Mercenaries. This game just looks freaking awesome. Um, great thing about this game is that it be, it's being created by the creators of Killzone. You know, they're not giving this game to another uh, um, developer so they could go ahead and create the gaming games no it's gorilla making this game which is awesome um everything that i've seen all the trailers all the gameplay just makes me want to play this game and of course we on uh, the playstation vita we're still um we're still um waiting for that first person shooter game for the playstation vita that um, you know that makes the PlayStation Vita stands out. You know, um, so far we got a um, Resistance and Kill and Call of Duty Declassified. Those games are not that great, uh, but this game promises to be awesome. So definitely, truly want to play that game. Now the other great news that came out from E3 is that starting when the PlayStation 4 comes out, um, our friend list uh, is going to be up upgraded to a thousand so you're gonna be able to add up to a thousand friends to your friend list which is great because i got a lot of followers you know asking me for um to add them in the friend list and i can't because i'm, I'm packed i'm full so um that's a great news another great news is that sony is um demanding i don't know how how that's gonna be but supposedly they're demanding um all these other game companies to make sure that remote play actually works but who knows how is that going to work now one of the things that has me worried about the playstation vita is that for example last year we got me for speed most wanted we got nfl madden we got call of duty declassified which was for a lot of people was a disappointment but hey we got it um NBA 2K13, we never got an NBA game for the PlayStation Vita. We got an Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Games for the PlayStation Vita. So, this year, after E3, there was no mention. There was zero, zero mention of any of these games coming back to the PlayStation Vita. Now, these games, they, these games, they, we, um, like every year, you expect to see a new game of these on the consoles why they keep on doing that because they're selling like pancakes people are buying it so games like this like nfl madden like um, call of duty are always going to keep on coming every year uh, but not for the playstation media now that is that is reason to get worried why because this is just sending a bad message to all the other companies this is telling the other companies hey we tried the playstation vita we got our toes wet but guess what we did not get what we were expecting we would we did not sell the numbers we were expecting uh it was a failure so we're not gonna try it again and you guys better better think it twice before you, you guys try it out so that's the message they're sending to everybody that's the message they're sending to everybody and even if you don't like these games that i just mentioned even if you don't like these games you should be worried you should be worried because uh one thing that we don't want to lose i know we're getting uh i know we're getting um lots of indie games but one thing we don't want to lose on our platform is the support of third party developers we don't want to lose those people we don't want to lose the triple a third party games now the other thing that i'm 50 50 happy and 50 50 um, concerned is the remote play feature uh, believe me guys uh, we got this promised when we had the playstation portable game with the playstation 2 and guess what happened we never got it it never worked uh, when the ngp was announced when this was announced as the ngp on june on uh, january 2011 we got promised remote play with the playstation 3 and what happened we did not get it we did not get it to work on the playstation 3 so now they're promising that we're gonna get remote play on the playstation 4 thanks to gaikai of course it's gonna be local i don't know why people think you're gonna be able to play um this over the web i don't think that's gonna be the the way because when they did this presentation they never said about playing your games in another state 
while your system is at home. They never said anything about that. Um, um, it, everything that I've heard is I've heard that it's going to be local Wi-Fi. When you're in your home, you could turn on your off the TV and continue playing on your PlayStation Vita. Now, the things that has me very very concerned is that okay, we can get that, but what if it's laggy? What if is it, there's a latency issue with the games? What if um, what if it did, if it doesn't really work? And if it doesn't really work, it's a failure. Um, a lots of people are putting their faith on remote play, are relying, okay, when remote play comes out, uh, the PS Vita is going to get a lot better. I'm going to buy a PS Station Vita when it comes out. Well, you know what? I'll, if, I, if you haven't got your PlayStation Vita and that's the number one reason you want to get a PlayStation Vita, remote play, Believe me, hold your money, don't put a pre-order yet, and let everybody try it first. Because right now, I'm, you know, I have to call it bullshit because you're telling me that this game, this console, didn't play, couldn't play PlayStation 3 games via remote, but it will play next-gen games, PlayStation 4 games, that's going to be a lot more powerful, a lot more um, demanding of power. You tell me it's gonna play flawlessly with PlayStation 4 games? I'm sorry, but f right now, this moment, today is June 28, 2013. I'm gonna call it bullshit. That's what I'm gonna call it until, of course, we get. I get to try it in my hands and play a couple games. That's the way it is. Now, the other thing that has me worried about the PlayStation Vita is that after Killzone Mercenaries, there is no AAA titles announced for the PlayStation Vita. Um, yes, we got Gamescom coming out, uh, coming um, August. I think it's the last weeks of August. Uh, and, of course, we might get some new game announced there. But guess what? E3 just passed by. And the only game announced for the PlayStation Vita, which for me is a big game, is The Walking Dead. That's it. Other than that, our, we, we just got games that we already knew that, that were coming, like Mercenary, like Counter Spy. And, of course, when Sony says there's going to be lots, lots of games coming out for the PlayStation Vita, like 80 games, 100 games. Hey, he's talking about indie games. He's talking about indie games that's going to flood the PSN store on the PlayStation Vita. That's why that's where you're gonna get like at least over 60 or 70 games for the PlayStation Vita. Now, you know, I have nothing against indie games. I love indie games. I counter spy, you know, I can't wait to play that game. Guacamole is an indie game, is a great game. Limbo is a good game. Hotline Miami is a great game, but a lot of people like it. I don't, but a lot of people like it. Um, you know, I have nothing against indie games, but the problem is when. The problem that I have is that when January 2011, the NGP was announced, this was announced as the NGP Next Generation Portable, I was super excited. Sony promised to give us games that will be like PlayStation 3 games in your hand, same graphics. Um, they even promised a remote play. They even showed a, a, a little bit of game clip of the PlayStation Vita playing Killzone remote play on the NGP. Um, you know, lots, lots of things were announced for the PlayStation Vita, for the NGP back then. Um, and, you know, that's the reason I got so hyped about the NGP or the PlayStation Vita. Um, it was all those promises, you know, big badass games coming out for the PlayStation Vita with PlayStation 3 graphic, console experience on the go, and yeah, you know, you know, I've been so far, I've been very happy with the games I've been getting on the PlayStation Vita, and those who know me, those who've been following me, know that I, be, I have the PlayStation Vita since it got released in Japan, December 17, 2011, I got my black imported and um, on PS Vita. I got it in my hand on December 23rd, and since December 23rd, 2011, I've been playing lots of game on my PlayStation Vita. And in my channel, you show it. I you can see it in my channel. Go back then, you can see old games playing out with crappy video camera. You know, you can see you can see all the games I've been playing since then. And you know, I've been happy since then. I've been playing lots of games on the PlayStation Vita since then. So those who say that there's nothing to play on the PlayStation Vita 
are bullshitting. They don't know crap because there is lots of game on the PlayStation Vita. There's PSP games, there's PlayStation 1 games, there's PlayStation Vita games, PlayStation Mini games. We got PlayStation Mobile games and now we're going to get flooded with indie games. But the problem is, like I said, like I said, I was promised to have the PlayStation 3 console experience on the go. And I'm that type of guy. I like playing all my games on the go. If I could play Last of Us on my PlayStation Vita on the go, I would be the most happiest man in the world. If I could play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the go, I will be super freaking happy. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people, of course, they criticize that as being a bad port. I don't. I like playing on the go. But, yeah, you know, when we were promised, I was promised to have PlayStation 3 console quality game on the go and so far I could say only a couple titles meet that standards like like Little Big Planet, Uncharted, Persona 4, those type of games meet those standards that Sony said. And like I said, I have no problems playing indie games on my PS Station Vita. But the problem is lots of these games I could are playable on smartphones. Lots of these games are being playable on smartphone I could play all these games all these indie games that are coming out for the PlayStation Vita even counter spy I'm gonna be able to play that game on my smartphone you know those games are not powerful those games do not use the PlayStation Vita at its fullest they they do not push the hardware of the PlayStation Vita at its fullest only great AAA games do so that those are my concerned of the PlayStation Vita. Like I said, I love my PlayStation Vita and those who follow me know that I'm I'm talking the truth. I love my PlayStation Vita, but there's reasons why to get concerned. And Sony needs to clarify those reasons. Like where's the price cut? Where is the price cut for the PlayStation Vita? You want people to have PlayStation Vitas, but a lot of people that I know are waiting for a price drop. A lot of people are waiting for a price drop to buy the PlayStation Vita. Give them the reason to buy the PlayStation Vita. Lower this down. It's about time to lower this down. Same thing, the more PlayStation Vitas we got in the hands of, of the public, the more PlayStation Vita is out there, the more, uh, the more that's going to be more reason for developers to create AAA games for the PlayStation Vita. You know, that's Sony. I don't know why Sony can't get that. You know, it's been so long since they dropped this to $200 in Japan. Why, you know, it's been so long. It, for me, it's unacceptable that Sony has still not uh, discounted the price of the PlayStation Vita. And that's it, guys. Those are my concerns for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, tell me, guys, what you guys think about my concerns. Um, please leave it in the comments. Are you concerned just like I am or am I the only one concerned about it? So guys, thanks for watching my channels, my videos. Till next time guys.